from six students of Arusha Science High School in Arusha region. I am here with my colleague Abdurrahim Yasin Malia, a form six student in Arusha Science. Since we knew IST, we saw students performing and launching different projects and they have become successful in solving different environmental problems. So we believe that YST is the right platform in which you can share our ideas, opinions, as well as with our discoveries to the extent of well so we can solve those environmental problems and challenges that we face, as the problem of shortage of water, which we have currently, which we made us come with a system of recycling water. And this is what encouraged us to join Young Scientists Tanzania. That was eight liters of water. As you can see, this is one of our gardens. We have the other one on the next side, which uses the drip system for irrigation of the plants. You can see all of these students are using much water to clean their plate. Also, there is this side, also, there is that side. So, amount of water is just being wasted, and all of this water is not recycled. We are in great demand of water. Apart from washing the dishes, apart from gardens, and apart from flushing the toilets, we have our field. Our field takes about 2,500 liters of water just in a single day. Generally, we are in great demand of water, not only here in Arusha Science Secondary School, but also in other schools found in Tanzania. Also, we have come up with a project which has the title of Recycling of Domestic Grey Waste Water into water that could be used for irrigation and for other domestic purposes such as washing clothes. This process begins with the first tank, which is the collection tank, where the wastewater from the kitchen and the bathrooms is collected from the first tank and then pumped to the other tank. That is the sedimentation tank. The wastewater is taken to this tank, which is sedimentary, is, is coagulation. And then after that, it is taken to this part where it is allowed to sediment. And then, it is, then the water is then filtered. After filtration in this part, the water is then aerated. After being aerated and chlorinated, and then the water becomes stored. And here we have our final water. Let us understand how our system basically works. Our system has a power source, which we have decided to use the electricity. And we have decided to use this transformer. But anyone else can decide to use either batteries. And then this power is then taken to the control part. In the control part, here, we can just turn on and allow the current to enter. As you can see, electricity now is within the system. And then we have the control part. The control part, you can turn the system on, and then the blue light will put on or off. And here we have the dosing pump. The dosing pump helps to dose, to add a certain amount of coagulants within the coagulation chamber. With the help of the mixing agent, it helps to mix, mix the coagulant with the wastewater just by turning this switch. As you can see, the mixing processes is taking place and the indication is the blue light from here. So it mixes, it mixes to increase the rate of the chemical reaction. After that, it is turned off and allowed to settle. And then it goes to the other stage. This is the second stage, which is the sedimentation tank. In this tank, therefore, the waste particles are allowed to settle down and the clear water is left to go up. This clear water will therefore be released to the other step, which is the filtration, filtration chamber. In the filtration chamber, we use two things. We have the fine sand with the activated carbon, which this one is the normal charcoal, added calcium chloride and subjected to large amount of temperatures. Here we remove the smell from the water. We also remove some chemicals such as soap, which has passed. And also, by the help of sun, we remove the color. As you can see, the color in this chamber of water is different from the color which is at this chamber. This is due to the filtration chamber. And then, after water being filtered, it goes to another stage, which is? This is the aeration tank. In this tank, this is the process which is used to remove bad smell from the water. This is by either mixing the water or allowing oxygen to enter the water by exposing it. Here comes to the storage place. Before the storage place, at the junction, we add chlorine to remove the biological waste, which are bacteria. On our way, we found out that the activated carbon was the best solution for removing smell from the water. 
Our project was very interesting because we got to learn new things. Example, the charcoal which was used in the removal of smell actually didn't work for us best. And the coagulants which were used, we had to do more experiments to discover which was the best coagulant for use in the coagulation area. We are looking forward to advance this project to have a computerized system here at the end which will make the chemical analysis and give you the quality of your water. But also we are looking forward to advance again this project so as the maintenance and operation will just be controlled by using your smartphone. Hence we are encouraging the government and other institutions to invest in such problems because the world now is facing the problem of climatic change associated with problem of shortage of water. This could be the best solution. Hence, we are very grateful to young scientists in Tanzania.